Ryan here with Prudential Pest Solutions, and I wanted to show you the primary tree that spotted lanternflies like, and that's the tree of heaven, otherwise known as the Elanthus tree. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. Maybe like a sumac, leaves kind of like walnut. Um, it's an invasive species, and I'm sure that if we get closer in here, we'll be able to find some lanternflies on here. And sure enough, there they all are. Yep, they're all along this, the branch here. Now the tree of heaven of the Elanthus tree is an invasive species to Pennsylvania and to America, just like the spotted lanternfly is. So you'll often find this in brush lines, field lines, you'll see it on the side of the road, you'll see it really everywhere you look once you know what you're looking for. Now I've had a lot of customers tell me, yeah I've seen a lot of spotted lanternflies only to go around to their house and find out that they have a smaller version of this and it can be very small or it can be as giant as, uh, as a regular tree um, like this. So that's the, that's the primary uh, tree that spotted lanternflies like. The Elanthus can also be super small here. As you can see, this is just in the front garden bed. But I'm sure if we pull a leaf back, oh, yep, there they are. There's the nymphs. So big trees, little Elanthus, big tree of heaven. That's what you want to get rid of. So what should you do if you find the tree of heaven of the Elanthus tree on your property and you have spotted lanternflies? Well, researchers think that the spotted lanternfly needs the Elanthus to the tree of heaven in order to complete its life cycle, its reproductive cycle. So it is an invasive species, so you shouldn't feel bad about ripping it out. Now, you can remove it, or what I do is I treat it and then we remove it. That way we're killing off a lot of the lanternflies first, and then you can remove the invasive plant. Now, that's depending on how large it is. Now, if you have giant Elanthus or Tree of Heavens on your property and you have a lot of them, you might be benefit from a program that the Department of Ag has where it's called trapping, tree trapping. And what they, what they do is, or what you should do as the homeowner is they'll have you remove, let's say 90% of the Tree of Heaven on your property so that those other Tree of Heaven or the Elanthus trees that remain are gonna be like magnets for the spotted lanternfly in the area. So by removing 90% of the Elanthus trees, just the tree of heaven, just the Elanthus tree, those 10% that are remaining, those lanternflies in that area are gonna to flock to that. And then when you treat that tree, you're essentially uh, taking care of all the lanternflies that are in that area because they need that tree. So is it, is it practical for you as a homeowner to remove this invasive species? It certainly is. Now, you can see that the spread of the spotted lanternfly is, is easy because number one, they can fly as adults. They can hitch a ride on your car, vehicle, vans, which is why you should always be checking um, your vehicle, your car, any brush or material that you're moving in and out of the quarantine zone or anywhere in southeastern Pennsylvania to make sure you're not taking them with you. But just as you drive along the side of the roads, drive along the highway, drive along the you know, field lines and wood lines, you're gonna see this tree of heaven. It's everywhere. So that's how the spotted lanternfly and that's their preferred food source, that's how it's been spreading, and that's what some tips that you can do. Now, if you have spotted lanternflies on your property, whether they're on your deck, your bushes, your trees, whether you have the tree or heaven or not, I can help. So give Prudential Pest Solutions a call and I can get you lanternfly free today.